Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have made headlines countless times, from their 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey to their new Netflix documentary, the couple have debunked the royal family in a way it's never been debunked before. But the couple reveals there appears to be no sign of slowing down. Astrologers have predicted what awaits the couple in 2023, with big revelations. Express.co.uk spoke to two astrologers who have predicted Meghan and Harry's future over the next 12 months, Lisa Stardust and Patrick Price. A tarot reader for the horoscope and astrology app Nebula.Lisa told Express.co.uk that there will be many changes for Meghan and Harry over the next year, including financial and family ones. She explained, Over the next year we can expect Meghan and Harry to have some sort of change in financial status. We'll be hearing a lot about finances over the next year, possibly a bad investment or money wasted. There may also be changes in the home, such as a move. Megan has a lot more to share about her personal life and how difficult it is to juggle motherhood, we'll learn more about the challenges. As for Harry, Lisa continued, he's going through a major transformation and things could come to a head. There will be upcoming projects here and there. People will want to know more about Harry and not Megan. So she'll probably step down so he can do more solo work. On the family front, Lisa explained that Meghan is trying to have more kids. He continued. Pregnancy is occurring now or towards the end of 2023. She is more afraid of having a child than he is because of her fear. You won't be visiting the UK anytime soon, he and his brother will always have hostile competition with each other based on hierarchy. You can have an honest conversation. You care about each other others, but they don't like each other very much as people because they are so different. This also has to do with what they endure growing up and how they were raised. Since Harry is a Virgo and Meghan is a Leo, they have great synastry. Each of their ancestors is the opposite of the other, which means they are extremely compatible and each other's ideal person. Patrick believes the Sussexes will have more projects next year as well. Looking ahead to the next few months, she said, Mercury is positioned in the first house for Meghan and in the eighth house for Harry, indicating that it's really important for them as a couple to understand each other and on there. To stand aside from things. Share with others and share your experiences. Having Mercury in the first house tells us that Meghan sees communication and honesty as possibly core values, while being in Harry's eighth house tells us that he may be passionate about finding ways to enhance his lived experience, communicate off because of this, it seems very likely that they will have another interviewer TV special in 2023 that year. Harry has Uranus in his 11th house, which tells us there's a better chance he'll be able to venture into solo projects next year. This is because Uranus is the planet of personal advancement and development, and the fifth house is the house of family, home and relationships. In this position, Uranus tells us that Megan has a clear sense of her identity, and that individuality remains a great asset in her life, and she too may wish to further develop her own path. So we see in that Harry might discover that he also loves to pursue his own endeavors. Uranus in these positions can also indicate that your confidence and individuality are incredibly important to both of you, and for many reasons you needed to move more together. In recent years, however, due to their strong independence as humans, it now seems possible for them to undertake solo projects and allow people to get to know them more individually. Patrick also predicted that another child could be on the way for Harry and Meghan. He said, Gemini and Scorpio are in the fifth house of Harry and Meghan. The fifth house can refer to children and in this case it means they could have another child. That's because both Gemini and Scorpio in this house allude to Harry and Meghan being people who enjoy having a larger family. These positions in the fifth house tell us that even if they no longer have children, family is a very important part of their lives and a central pillar for them. Also having Gemini and Scorpio in the fifth house tells us a lot about fun, fun, joy, enjoyment and creativity, and seems to be a very positive thing. Prospects for Harriet